This is the displacer drive section for Mariah Major completely assembled with the displacer in place. The crankshaft we've already described. It's assembled here with the connecting rod in place. Connecting rod carries two flange ball bearings with spacers on either side to keep the connecting rod centered exactly where we want it. The connecting rod is forked, as you can see these arms coming down, and they're forked to straddle this section, which is a support for an, addition, an additional bearing on the displacer rod. So the displacer rod is supported in two places, one by the gland where the rod exits the workspace, and again up here near the far end of its stroke by an additional bearing point. <clears throat> this um, bearing system gives the displacer a lot of smooth running characteristics and in particular uh, allows it to take up the side loading due to the angularity of the connecting rod as the engine goes through its cycle. It's a very smooth operating mechanism. You can see how easily it works here. I'm just twisting it with my thumb and forefinger. My arthritic thumb is not hurting too much because it just turns so easily. And of course in practice this is going to be mounted vertically so there'll be virtually no gravity load on the bearings on the displacer rod bearings, that is. Another point that um, is worth making here is that we've purposely made the crankshaft webs long. Um, this section on the non-working side, if you will, of the crank web. We made it long so that in future, if we want to, we can add uh, counterweights to take up some of the imbalance although the speed of the engine is going to be fairly low, about two-thirds the speed of the original Mariah. But still, we might, we might want to put some uh, counterweights there, and we've got plenty of room for it. 